guys, Sarnard here. <clears throat> Today I'm working on the um, the radiator to go inside this radiator shell for the hi. Oh, 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 Come to help, hidden ya, hey? Help or hinder, one of the two. Yeah, he's high. This dog's lazy. It's raining today, and um, this one didn't get up till 10.30. It's only now just decided to get up. Yes. Feeding time. Anyway, uh, radiator to go inside here. What I'm going to do is mill one out of wood. And you might think it's a bit strange, but the radiator on the, um, the Fat Betty truck, when I built that, that was made of wood. And um, what else? Kebab sticks and some perforated sheet metal. So I'm not fully against building some accessories out of wood. I'm also doing this really quick and dirty um, as far as the cam side of thing um, is concerned. So if, um, wood, wood, wood will do for him. Yeah. So what I'm going to use is this dirty old scrap of ply, five ply pretty man key but it will do the trick so I'll be able to mill out um, a couple of radiators on this and um, hopefully it works just mill her out and um, flip it over mill the other side and um, spray paint it black so there'll be a radiator to go into the shop truck and I'm also doing a prototype for another radiator design I just want to test stuff out and um, if it pans out, I'll probably do that again properly and possibly set it up for 3D printing instead. But anyway, the old the old um, CNC machines and cam, it's, it, it makes uh, life pretty easy for doing this sort of thing. So pretty much all you do is set your piece up in the machine. <coughs> uh, just throw that in there. on there and you're good to go just push the magic button over here and that's it should be done let's have a look here oh yeah pretty as a picture looks all right eh Amazing, amazing stuff. CNC, eh? It's a miracle. Yep. Yeah, I was taking the piss. I'll show you how it's done properly with some time lapse. Pretty boring stuff to watch though, so um, I'll probably cut it short. <laughs> machine is uh, milling out these radiators. Um, I'm going to be working on these little gas cylinders here. I welded these up and painted these yesterday. A couple of nails uh, and a few screws and whatnot to be gauges on the top of the uh, oxygen and acetylene. I'll uh, cut these off and put some um, rubber tube on the end. But these will make a little, nice little accessory for an RC. And these are just um, these little cream whip cylinders I use on my builds. Uh, CO2 cylinders, same deal. And um, yeah, so I, just, I was out in the shed and spent a, an hour or so doing these yesterday. So I just thought I'd show you this, something random. I'm just going to get the uh, brass colour paint out now and just paint these uh, bits to look like brass fittings while the machine's behind me so I can kind of keep an eye on it. Yeah. 
something different, eh? Right, back to the uh, put you back on the machine again. So hopefully you can see that all right. So give you an idea of what I'm doing here. Um, <clears throat> so it's textured it quite well. It's a wee bit furry, but I can clean I'll be cleaning this up with the old sandpaper anyway. But basically the first drive I did uh, was these holes here. So I could bolt it down. Everything's centered. Uh, horizontal and vertical so now I can um, unbolt this flip it over bolt it back down and repeat those um, seven operations on the other side and that'll give us the radiators they should come up okay once they are sanded down and, and painted black the roughness doesn't matter these are supposed to be old old radiators and of course you can probably tell from that gap there uh, this one's designed to have a um, servo inserted into it at the bottom uh, this is just just uh, won't be used at all it's just I was lazy and just duplicated the job twice and then just milled it out so but I won't make you watch that uh, yeah never far never far at all um, yeah the thing I was gonna say is when I was talking about doing these while I'm keeping an eye on the machine I forgot to mention the little the little torch which I've also painted I'm not sure if it's focusing well and that's just uh, a couple of um, bike spokes welded together you can weld some really small stuff with the old MIG welder if you're careful about it it's quite surprising so yeah anyway uh, I will show you the um, I won't, I won't uh, film the other side of this, it's the same. Uh, I'll just show you the re result once I've spray painted them black and you know I'll have to manually put in stuff like the re-radiator cap and that I'll just use an old um, nut and bolt or something like that. Uh, drill some holes manually for the hoses. I didn't put that in the job because I'm not too sure where they're going to go yet so I'll do those later. So I'll show you a bit more in a sec. Right on, so it's the next day now and um got the shop truck on the bench here and so if you remember this is the grill that we're going to be putting this uh, fake radiator into so it'll fit in there like that I'll zoom you in in a sec I'll show you the details uh, let's see hold on a sec How's that? There you go. So, what we've got... Uh, I'll try to get you. There you go. So, you got the top here, the grill and the bottom. Spray painted black. Being a scrap of old ply that was originally used for um, concrete uh, moulds, I think. Um, I picked it up somewhere anyway, so it had holes in it from the uh, screws and that, so that's why there's a hole in this radiator. That doesn't matter now. Um, you'll be able to see, come on, you'll be able to see there that it's slightly off, so when I flipped it over, they the, the pattern shifted. The, there's about a millimetre difference between the front and the back, and... Um, I, uh, I was thinking about it last night when I went to bed. I was thinking, how did I get this wrong? You know, I thought I had it all squared away. It's upside down. It's actually this way up. There it is. So, um, yeah, along this axis here, which would have been the uh, Y axis. Yeah. No, the Z. Uh, not the Z, the, the X, sorry. This would have been the X axis, and that, that was straight lined up. But uh, these ones here, they were off 
by about a mil and I think I figured out the error of my ways and, and to be honest uh, yesterday when I was doing that I was using a lot of iometry and guesstometrics so actually I'm kind of surprised they lined up as well as they did. If I was to do this again I figured out what I've got to do to make it more exact and um, I'm pretty happy with the result. I'm thinking about giving it a squirt of um, a brown wash to give it a you know to rust inside here and make it a little bit more manky but I don't know if it really need it. It'll be hidden behind this this grill anyway and you won't see it for the most part. You'll just see it at the back uh, like that. So the next job will be to attach this to the truck. Um, you might think this is a bit weird but I'm purposely gonna bolt this grill on with only one bolt and make it loose so it kind of moves and rattles. I, I like a bit of um, animation in the vehicle so when, when it's rolling along stuff shaking and rattly because it's an old rat rod so I'm going to purposely mount this in the front so that it moves. Well I'll give it a go, either it'll pan out or it'll be done and I'll do it properly. But So I think the next part is to um, sort out the plumbing on the um, motor or on the motor there so um, I can figure out where the pipes come out and go into the top of the radiator at the bottom of the radiator there and um, <coughs> drill the holes in the um, the head in the in the base of the radiator there uh, put some pipe tubes in and mount that that won't be in today's video though this is just the creation of the um, the radiator, so um, I'll get on to that. I've also made a start on the steering link on this build as well, which I did off camera. I didn't feel like filming using an old push bike chain, so um, in a future video we'll get that all sorted out. The upper radiator is floating around somewhere. I'll do that in another video as well, because I want to show you how, how I'm mounting the servo into that one. For the other build. Anyway, guys, I know it's CNC and uh, you know watching machines do the work isn't that entertaining sometimes, but hopefully I made it a little bit entertaining for you. And um, this has turned out better than I thought actually for a piece of junk plywood. So I'm quite happy. I might do that again. All right, guys, catch us on the next one. See you later. Get out of your seat for a second, and this is what happens. You're running the show now, eh? Alright, you, you tell them what's going on. You tell them what's going on, just... Yeah. You let them know. Yeah. Mm. Yes, sir. Okay.